Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the surface area of a cone given its slanted height. Now what do I mean by the slanted height of a cone? Well if I have a cone in general, this is its radius here. The radius is just the radius of the circle. The height is going up like this. So this is known as the perpendicular height because that height of the cone is at right angles to the base. And then the slanted height is the length of this slant here. And we denote that by the variable L, and that's known as the slant height. Now, if you've got the slant height, then the curved surface area of the cone, and by the curved surface area, I mean this top bit here, because the top of the cone kind of curves round. The bottom of the cone is not curved, even though the edge is curved, the actual face itself, the circle itself, is not curved because it's flat, isn't it? Then the formula is this, it's just pi times the radius times the slant height, so pi r l. Now if we apply it to this particular example to get the surface area of that curved bit here, the curved surface area, then we have pi times by the radius. Now if the diameter of this cone is 10, then the radius would be half of that, which is 5 multiplied by the slant height L, which is 12. And if you were to do that in your calculator, it will simplify this to 60 pi. I'm just going to leave it as 60 lots of pi for the moment. But we want the total surface area. So the total surface area will be the curved surface area, so the top bit, plus the other face, which is at the bottom. So that's a circle, isn't it? So that's going to be 60 pi plus the area of the bottom. Now, what's the area of the bottom? Well, we have a circle at the bottom with radius five, don't we? Five centimeters. So the area of that would be pi r squared, pi times five squared. If we simplify that, pi times five squared is pi times 25, that's 25 pi. And then we have 60 lots of pi plus 25 lots of pi. In total, we have 85 lots of pi. And if we put that on our calculator so we can get it as a decimal, 85 pi, press equals and then press SD key, we have 267. And what's the unit? What's the surface area? So it'll be centimetres squared. And that was two three significant figures. That's the final answer. So remember, if you want the total surface area, you need to do the curved surface area using pi r l, where l is the slant height, plus the area of the bottom of the cone.